right. So I just got home from a 20-something hour day. Um, I, uh, this is going to be a long video. I can tell already. So I was at work. It was supposed to be an 18-hour day or 16-hour day. Uh, double shift on my day off instead. Um, turned into like a 21, 22-hour day. Uh, maybe two of that was drinking, so let's call it a 20-hour day. Anyway, um, situation. Anyway, has nothing to do with the video I'm about to do. Uh, as you can see, I'm rocking my Zenesis shirt. Um, or my Zen Fidel shirt. Um, Cigar Babe. The Reader Mermaid. Bruise. You guys got your personalized ones. I'm going to be getting to them as soon as I can. Uh, you, anyway, I get home from a pretty shitty day. And uh, I'm drunk. I walk in the house and I see a package. And I'm like, sweet. I've been waiting on it a few days, a couple trips to the mailbox, looking for the stuff, and it wasn't there. Just so happened. I wasn't looking for it today, but it was here. Let's see what I got. I got some... I don't know, can you see this? Oh man, this video is going to be awful. Some Mad Murdoch's radiator fluid. Some of that fluid. Murdoch got some of your fluid. And I got some 710. I was I was kinda anticipating getting some of that champagne flavor. I was kinda looking forward to it. Um no champagne. I'm all good with that. I also got he sent me a monster bottle of VG. I don't really do DIY, but his stuff's a little bit stronger than what I told him I vaped. He said, I'll send you a big bottle of VG to go with it. Because, I mean, that's how he is. He's a good guy like that. You know, what can I say? Anyway, I'm about to try these juices for the first time. I decided I was going to put it on camera, because why not? I'm drunk. Might as well. I got here... Silver, but I know what you guys are thinking. What the f is Bumpy doing pulling out something other than this? Something other than my Zenesis. I got the top cap off because I just cleaned it, okay? Just cleaned it because whichever of these juices I like better, I'm going to be filling a tank of. I got my top cap right here, my Ridgemont tip. I want to try and machine this this top down so it doesn't have the lip up here. I want to, like, almost saw it right there, if that's possible. I don't know. I don't really want to ruin it. I might have to order another one before I try that. Anyway, we're running long. I haven't even put a drop in an ad yet. But I'm going to fill that in just a minute. First, I got to taste these these juices that my boy Mad Murdoch sent to me. I can't wait. I got I got a strong smell right now going on. I'm pretty sure it's coming from this radiator fluid. As you can see, it is like straight green. Like kryptonite green. But I got on my silver bullet right now. I got some extensions because I run the drip shield on it. Um, but I'm running the AVA, low resistance atomizer, which is my new favorite 510 atomizer. Picked one up at Bash Fest. Um, I, I like it. I like it a lot. That's all I can say about it. I got the other atomizer I'm going to use is my HH357. Like that a lot too. They, they both have their pluses. Um, really, I haven't, haven't, maybe I haven't had this one long enough, the AVA, or maybe I've just been using this B so much because I got them at the same time that 
I haven't been able to notice the negatives on this. The 357 I got doesn't like my dark, thick juices. You know, you get some Gorilla Juice in there, some Bobas. It gets the little, uh, you know, cruddies. Anyway, I'm going to drop a few drops. This 710, I don't know what it is, but... The 710 numbers to me means tobacco, 555, could that be? It smells good. I'm still smelling this, this licorice from the radiator fluid. Not a big fan of licorice. Tried some of Zen's. It was delicious. But to me, the smell, not a big fan of it. But the taste, I'm... I'm ready to taste that fluid, but let me try the 710 first. I'm going to drop a few drops in here. Yeah. Heck. This thing could take quite a bit of, uh, yeah, there's my drip tip. That's how I'm feeling right now. Anyway. I'm not going to say anything until I take a couple toots on it. And you're all like, the fuck does Bumpy have all these wires for? I got a projector set up. Um, that's how I watch movies, play my Xbox, all that nonsense. Anyway, that's what the wires are there for. That's so I could hook the HDMI up to the cable box if I want to watch TV on it. Fuck it. This 710 rocks. Um, all white background. You guys aren't seeing as much vapor as this is putting out. But whatever. I'm not Scott Bonner, so we're all good. How much fun is it watching me vape? None at all. But I can't put my finger on this flavor. It's got those subtleties that I like in a juice I'm going to vape a lot of. It's... Delicious. I'm awful at this. Um... I'm getting somewhat of a chocolatey taste. Very, very tiny. Um, if this is a tobacco flavor, it's more delicious than I expect a tobacco flavor to be. Um, most of the tobacco flavors I've tried, I don't like at all. I'm really liking this 710. Really, really liking it. That's probably going to fill a tank in my Xenesis. Most likely that's going to be filling a tank. I, At some point in the near future, that's delicious. If it tastes that good on the AVA, it's going to taste even better on the Xenesis. So, anyway. On to the next atomizer, HH357. Also known for giving good flavor. Um, but we're not comparing these to Genesis Atomizer. It's, and the Genesis stands, I haven't tried another Genesis, so for me to say it stands at the top really doesn't speak volumes, but when you got people like Riddle and uh, Lordaeros saying, you know, how great they are, you take their word for it, you take my word, throw it in the trash can, 
It's not worth much, but I think it's delicious. Every every juice I've tried on the Zenesis so far has tasted much better. I've got more enjoyment than any of my 510 atomizers. I mean, cardamizer? Who wants to use a cardamizer? Who? Show me. Reply to this and say, I would rather use a cardamizer than my Zenesis. Do it. I dare you. Anyway, let's get some of this fluid going. Because this is what I want to try. Some of the Mad Murdoch's radiator fluid. I'm going to drop quite a few drops in here. Because again, 357s hold juice pretty well. My Mad Murdoch wannabe hat. Let's find a drip tip here. What do I got? You know what? I'm going to have to take this one off. I didn't set up for this video. Like I said, I sat down with these juices and just grabbed them. And I was like, I got to make a video. Mm. Drip tip don't fit. Hey, going straight off the Addy. Don't always need a drip tip. Not necessary. Wow. That licorice is there. Now I know where the smell is coming from. Mmm. It tastes so much better than it smells. Mmm. Mmm. What is that other taste? There's licorice, but licorice on the exhale. On the inhale, I'm getting something. Something real sweet. Something delicious. Um, it's like two vapes at once. This radiator fluid, Murdoch, this is a great juice. A great juice. It's sweet. It's on that draw, I'm getting, I mean, the aftertaste, like right now, I'm tasting licorice. On the exhale, I'm getting that licorice. It smells like licorice, but... On the draw, I'm getting something very, very sweet. Very sweet. Delicious. I can't put a finger on it. I'm awful at this. I took a class in college, uh, it was a wine tasting class. Sounds easy. <laughs> I didn't do too well. <laughs> there was a lot of samples passed around. By the time the last one came out, I just said it tastes great. It's, I mean, it's hard to put your finger exactly on something. It's not fruity. I want to say cantaloupe, but it's it's not even close to a cantaloupe. But there's something the the licorice taste gives me like a a little bit, but enough where it's like a menthol to me. I'm not a big fan of menthol, but that licorice would be like a substitute for a menthol on a juice. There's another flavor in there, in that radiator fluid. In this super green radiator fluid that makes it delicious. It's it's on that draw. I'm getting something very very unlicorice sweet before I get that licorice exhale. Anyway.